These are the top stories of the week. Twitter account info may be for sale. Apple's changing its app store, a new shatterproof phone, and everything else you need to know. A hacker by the name of Tessa88 says they are selling information on 379 million Twitter accounts. Tessa88 is selling the data for 10 bitcoins, which is around $6,000. LeakedSource.com was given the database by Tessa88 and found it contained approximately 32.9 million records once you get rid of duplicates. A record contains a username, an email address or two, and plain text passwords. LeakedSource.com believes the data is not from a Twitter breach, but due to malware installed on Twitter users' computers. The malware would have collected data from web browsers. Twitter has notified millions of affected users. The Verge reports big changes are coming to the Apple App Store. First up, subscriptions are coming to all apps. Right now, the subscription model is limited to certain apps. Apple will also take less money from apps with subscriptions. After one year, Apple will only take a 15% cut instead of its normal 30%. Also, Apple will now show ads in its search results. The ads will be set off from regular results by their blue background and a blue ad box beneath the title of the app. Lenovo showed off a whole bunch of phones. First up is the shatterproof Motorola Moto Z, because Lenovo owns Motorola. Its most intriguing feature is its ability to support modular accessories through a magnetic connector port. The Moto Z can connect to a JBL speaker or a projector, and you won't have to turn off your phone to put these accessories on. The Moto Z also ditches the headphone jack in favor of an adapter, so that's kind of interesting. Lenovo also introduced a concept flexible phone that you would wear like a watch. It's a fantastic looking device, but wait, there's even more. Lenovo showed off the Fab 2 Pro. It can handle Google Tango, which in a nutshell is a depth sensing 3D camera system. Google's shown off Tango before, but this is the first ready to buy Tango phone. The Moto Z will arrive in the summer, the concept flexible phone has no release date, and the Fab 2 Pro will be available in September. We've got more news for you, so let's go rapid fire. Tesla reintroduced the Tesla Model S60, which costs around $66,000. A Bloomberg report says Google founder Larry Page has invested over $100 million in a flying car company called Z Aero. The same report says Page is also backing a second flying car startup called Kitty Hawk. Guns N' Roses frontman Axl Rose is trying to get an unflattering picture of himself off the internet. You know how the rest of the story goes, right? Memes. And Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference kicks off on Monday, June 13th. We're expecting all kinds of software news like iOS 10 and Mac OS 10, plus an update on Siri. Now you're all caught up in tech. To get your daily dose of tech news, check out cnet.com slash update. For a weekly dose, hit up cnet.com slash radar. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, signing off.